to what's up man cfm this is week number four i am two and one if you want any offensive defense man make sure you hit that man turf link below you can get all that there also man if you want to catch these games live i play them pretty much every other day i want to say during the evening all my streams are live twitch.tv slash dub dot you can hit that link below so you can be in the chat watching these games live that's what i'm talking about make sure you hit that link man need a store.com get you some t-shirts i'm on the verge of coming up with some new designs getting ready for madden 20 so make sure you keep that in the loop man i'm really excited about this game Jay Wolf, man, man, I looked at the schedule on my last one. I feel like this is a key game for me. If I get this victory, it's going to be big because uh, I feel like the next, like, five or so games before I play D-Croft, they're all CFM guys. I should be able to run the table. So if I can win this game, Jay Wolf, man, was the runner-up for um, the Minnesota Vikings Club Series. So he's definitely a good player. Definitely going to bring something unique to the table. I'm excited to go ahead and get this game underway. As you know, we got the St. Louis Rams. I say St. Louis. Everybody still says St. Louis. They are the Los Angeles Rams. Wolf is 2-1 as well. As you see, I got the the, the the 2000s jerseys on. Greatest show on turf jerseys. You know, that's, that's pretty much the Rams we grew up with or I grew up with. I don't know how old you guys are. If you remember those Rams, the real Rams, the tough Rams pretty much is what I want to say. And those are the ones that I remember mostly. These are those jerseys. We're going to rock those, man. Ah, we're going to try to wrap them up. Going to try to get physical. We got rap. We got the long man. If you've been watching lately, man, we got the long man. We got rap. We got Everett. We're going a little 335 normal. I think cover, cover two. Probably keep it basic the first snap. I am right. We have all the time in the world. Can Jared Goff hit that pass? Brandon Cooks makes the catch, baby. First down, seven-yard line. Let's make sure we get a touchdown here, boys. There we go, man. Uh, we got Gurley. Like I said, if you guys have been watching, I really don't use him that much. I'm going to try to pop a draw right here, get a couple yards, get a little closer to the end zone. There we go. I mean, that's what Gurley does. I tried to chuck that running, that guy, and then, I mean, it wasn't the best look, but it worked out. You, know, you guys watch me play, man. I run that play action play a lot. It's one of my favorite cover two killer, honestly. And golf, the one thing about golf, I don't think he has a super strong arm, but he definitely got that pass down there, man. So I'm proud of the, the, the throw he made right there. Uh, it looks like he got Harrison Smith in the flat right now. I might, I'm going to try to uh, hit this high ball to Everett over here, just like that comes down with it ever is a goon that's what i wanted to do man out of that tight smart route of that corner route so it was pretty much a slant out if any of you guys been playing madden chat if you guys have been playing madden for you know 10 plus years like me you guys remember how deadly slant outs have been and that is what smart route or smart route in that corner route did made it a slant out had the drag underneath the drag will just pull the, the cloud flat down a little bit and into the inside Able to hit that high ball to Everett, my tight end, who's been a beast early in the year. Definitely don't have the wind with me right here. I got to cover this kick. He returned to the left. I'm going to take this guy. Good tackle right there. I don't know who that is. Fowler Jr. I mean, listen, man. Listen. I got a touchdown. We're going to try to get physical right out, the, right out the gate right here, boys. Okay, I like it. I like it. I love that you can save your depth chart. Or save your formation subs. There's nothing like nothing better than that in this game. If there was a way you could just save your audibles too to go with it, oh man. Uh, when he played it in the um, yeah. Oh, trips tight end. Come on, man. We're really going to leave him all day like that. Who else he running? Damn. Try to really heat him up right there. Uh, a little bit of trips tight end. I like it. I play good against this. I'm cool. His quarterback got out of the pocket. I believe it. I don't know if it's still Kirk Cousins, but I definitely sent the, sent the dogs at him right there. Uh, a little bit of tight right here. What tight? Bunch tight end? Lucky 
Go get him, Rat. Bunch tight end. So I don't know what playbook has bunch tight end and a trips tight end. I don't know if it's going to be a great trips tight end because the best trips tight end are in bunch tight end is only in Miami and Miami and da -da 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 Seattle. He got hurt, Oreo. I didn't notice if he got hurt or not. He was scrambling for his life, and we we brought the pressure, baby. If we hurt the quarterback on the first play, that's taking my physicality to another level, boys. Come on with the runs, man. Is there custom playbooks? Like, really? Is that a real thing? Because this is why I never like custom playbooks. Because as a man player, right? As a man, I don't know if it's custom, but as a man player, it's a skill to know everything that's in every playbook. You know, and for me to know that shit because I, I play so much and I'm a loser. You know, like, and know what he can go to, what his audibles are, and things of that nature. Don't run base again. Oh, I definitely did injure him. Who does have a quarterback? He gonna get a, he gonna get a rude awakening. Good shit, good shit. We need some pressure there, boys. I I I, I can't. No, honestly, that that shit's super corny with customs. Nothing lamer than a dude that flips and runs base. Nothing cornier and mad than a dude that flips and runs base. Nah, I, I just I'm just not a fan of custom playbooks because it's just like it's super corny. That shit off, man. I need Aaron Donald to show up one time, man. Come on, man. That can't be five yards. Such a big difference. Just a great animation. How do you have... I guess you just put your tight end at fullback and then run him at tight end, I guess. Turns into a fullback position. That's super corny, too. Dare you to run base. Triple dog. Yeah, that's a win. That's a win. Big plays on that drive. And after the drive ends for me, man, I always try to think big plays. What big play did I give up? Uh, a couple bases that got over 10 yards. Um, the comeback route was a good play. Uh, that scrambling play where Kirk Cousins got hurt. Those three plays. No play that I'm really worried about that I see something that I have to fix on my defense. Just some decent plays. Uh, when he flips bunch, I'm going to flip every time. And what aggravates me is that flip my adjustments to it's one thing i feel like if you flip a play you should have you should be done with that like you can't it should reset your hot routes because the one base popped i gotta flip base just to have my, just because it's a numbers game man so much of this game is a numbers game The Bucks won it.
I, and this is this is shit I'm talking about. I watch Journey play and he just runs for a hundred yards on people. Just the same shit ass runs that I got mine with Duray. What's up, buddy? Like and, and to me it's just aggravated. There's nothing more that aggravates my life than watching Journey run the ball with ease against everybody. Does anybody else feel that way? Like it just and I run the ball, it's just it's just an instant instant sack. Come here, you little boys. That's Everett, baby. Second quarter. No, seriously. No, I'm serious. Like, I'll tell you, man. I, I watch Drenny. Like, we run the same offense, man. I promise you, it pisses me off that he dominates just calling run plays. My bum ass is struggling to death. Bad pocket, W. You have a touchdown on the field. Step up. Step up, you have a touchdown on the field. Step up. I don't even rush it. I rushed the play. I should have made a protection, man. That was bad. That play that play might cost me points. Because one, the clock was running down. I rushed it like it's just a ranked game, like it doesn't matter. I just hurry up and get a playoff. And then I had terrible pocket because of it. I should have blocked my running back, made some protections out there, man, and, and I just didn't. So that definitely just hurt me. Brandon Cooks is just dominating this game, dude. No, seriously, man. Y'all have no idea how I feel about Journey's run game. I got to get used to Todd Gurley, too. That's something that's underrated. Being, like, used to your running back. I got to get used to Todd Gurley. I got to score a touch. God, Todd Gurley, how don't you fall forward, man? Fuck. That was a big play right there, though. Getting, actually getting this close was a big play. This close is really uh, Everett territory. Electrify with the sub, man. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, I hate quarterback sneak. I feel like it never works. Work there for me. Let's go, chat. Ah, big touchdown right there. Make it a two-possession game. Love that touchdown. Love two drives, two touchdowns. Playing pretty well. One thing I learned about this game that kills me, man. Um, my pass protection is unreal when I run play action. It's unreal. The two play action plays, just you, you just don't get block shedded. That one play I ran where I got sacked, it was, wasn't was a play action play. I sent out five and kind of got insta shedded. I tell you, when you run play action against block shed defenses, man, it just dominates. But one thing that does kill me is that I get stuck running those plays. I get stuck in those situations. Uh, he ran a little, a lot of bunch, a lot of bunch, chat, and, ah, oh, man. Do I bring the nickel normal out yet? I'm not streaming on my YouTube. What I do is I just record it as if it's going to be a YouTube video. Do I go nickel? Ah, my nickel normal is kind of high powered, chat. I'll tell you guys that. Nah, oh, come on with this bazooka shit. Come here, kid! Come here, kid! User! This bum-ass toss stuff, man. Don't go normal yet? You think it's too early for normal? I f mm, you're right. You're right. It might be too early for normal. I just felt like I made a great play on that, man. I don't care if I'm 32, 37, 30, 48. That was user. Oh, I don't know if Jay Wolf streams or what he does on YouTube. Detroit! 
Come here, sweetie. Don't take all day to make your call. Don't take all day now, baby. Don't take all day, baby. I'm only when it feels like there's way too many like different coverages in this shit. I just want cover six, thank you. Come here, kid. Play Matthews, baby. Pump my football, baby. I'm three and one right now, Frank. Three and one or, or no, am I two and one? Two and one. Two and one. Fourth and twenty-eight, man. This is this is a big play. Uh, I don't know who's returning my kick. I told you I had a white guy as my kick returner. I, I like it. Actually, you know what? Let's use him for something. Todd Gurley, kick returner extraordinary. Return right. One thing about this year is because the defensive playbooks include nickel normal, nickel 35, nickel over G, you can kind of mix up the different defenses you want to run. Uh, CFM, this is a, a season. I have the St. Louis Rams. I, I will call them the St. Louis Rams forever. I have the Los Angeles Rams. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. Here we go. Terrible punt. Like, you just... <laughs> that was terrible. I'm going to stick to my journey. But I will tell you this, man, and credit the journey... Is that one thing about me, man? If I run the ball bad, I'm gonna go away from it. Drenny sticks to it, man, and I gotta stick to it. You know, just get a couple here and there. I don't know who just hit sticked me, but you know, just get a couple. Sometimes that's what the game is about, just getting a couple. Try to hit Robert Woods here on a touchdown if he's still in cover, too. God damn, how you get in front of that, Robert Woods? Come on, kid. I navigated the pocket like a madman, too, right there. Damn, that was ah, that was my shot right there. That was my shot. I just had my shot. Doubt he gives me the middle of the field again, man. I really do. Great catch. Mr. Hit stick. Brandon Cooks is just dominating that. Brandon Cooks is definitely dominating right now, man. He's playing a great game. Uh, I lost the game. Oh, you talk about the Ram Oh, in real life? Yeah. The Ram I mean, the Rams are a good team, man. I just... This is going to two-minute warning regardless. Yeah, Cooks is having a great game right now. I thought I'd get hit stick and drop that. He missed his hit stick a little bit. Like, yo, Gurley, and I, I swear I'm still an aggressive. If I'm still an aggressive, I'm mad at Gurley. I'm still on balance. Okay. Like, Gurley, come on, man. He got a, uh... Yeah, you saw that fast? That plus one speed I put on him. Bro, Gurley got to at least fall forward, man. Am I wrong, chat? Yeah, I would have did the same shit, though, but you know, I would have hit it. But, you know, my user's a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? Look at that run stick, man. Just a slight vision right there, Chad. Just a slight vision. Slight vision. Not not crazy vision, slight vision. And we talked about that that play on the podcast with Drenny. That when you see somebody, I went to the talk, I went to that, he wasn't baselined. Middle of the play, he baselined. What that did was send his corners out wide. So he was defending the toss. I couldn't have tossed because his corners were out wide. Went to the dive, I just had more numbers up in the middle than he did. Pause. 
Yeah, yeah. CFM is regs, but then you go on the season, you get your players better, and so on and so forth. God damn! I swear, there's like five thousand different plays in this this book. I really will not defend. Uh, up this many points, I'm not going to defend this fight, bro. I, just, I honestly need to make a better tackle on it, really. Damn, man. I'm not going to call a timeout either. I'm going to hold him to three. Good dot. You get some pressure right now. Mmm. Too much time. I can't, I can't let flat routes go for this much, really. I had my spot, my safety in a, in a spy. Jesus. Oh, Aaron Donald probably almost made a play for me. Stay in bounds. I lost this sim game. I'm mad. That was way too easy. I don't know why. I, yeah, I'm out of that. The over G were good, but shh, damn. Man. What a flat route. A flat route got too many yards. I don't want to turn this. I need as much time on the clock as I can get. Yeah, but it's not going to look undefeated. I'll tell you this right now, man. He's not going to give me any type of uh, cover two beater. It's going to be cover three right here. High ball. Uh, Rap is balling. He's balling. Not doing too much for me, but he's he's definitely balling. Five, I'll take it. Um, worst play of my life right there. Legitimately the worst play of my life. Can't have a little. What's up with my man Morgan? What's up? Can't have a dumber play than I just had right there. Really, I, I, I just I can't get over how bad of a play that was. Mm. 
And then these two idiots, golly. Just get out of bounds and save my time out pretty much is what I need to do right there. God, that play was bad, chat. Going for the touchdown. If I don't have it, I want it to drag this. I'm going to have it. Fuck, man. Damn, that was bad. I just aggravated with myself, man. Just an opportunity to get points. I just... Ah, uh, bad. Go out of bounds and give me a chance to throw the ball in the middle. It would be so much harder for him to uh, play defense. Bad, bad by me, man. Bad by me trying to make that one person miss. He just clicked off and killed me, man. That was bad. 11 mile an hour win. I'll have it in, in the fourth quarter. That, that's, that's big. You got to remember that. Rap hasn't done nothing since that first game. I'm expecting a big drive right here from the rap, man. I'm getting out of that. Nickel blitz from mine right now. There we go. Good play, Peters. Why did he come out of nowhere? TJ Green with the knockdown, too. Let's go, man. Big play starting to have. Get cute on defense, baby. Don't get cute on defense, baby. I see it all, baby. I see it all, baby. Why you sometimes listen, man? When people are getting cute on defense, <laughs> hit them with the tight end on the streak, man. They, they never man up the tight end with the safeties. Oh, this is. This is strip all the way. Oh, come on, Fowler. Give me a strip animation. Drive the game right here. The rat man. Oh, fuck with him if you want. The rat man. Face of adversity, we make a pass like that. Come on, man, that's a wrap. Just run bubble screen, or we just lost right now. Come on, man. Come on, man. Bubble screen can't be it. Freaking throws on the run right now. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. 
Ah, I gotta give him some time off the clock right now. I'm not mad at how I'm playing. I'm just mad that he went down the field like this, man. That, that deep corner route was too much. I'll tell you what. The, the pass protection in this mode is pretty damn good, really. I don't know if you guys play CFM, but I feel like the, the, the uh, pass protection in this mode is really good. He put Rudolph in. Maybe he's trying to high ball to Rudolph. If he put Rudolph in, he's always had... Oh, he might... That's just bad defense, W. Look. Oh, my God. Why the mid-read on that pitch? I shaded him down. That's why. Damn. Oh, my God. I'm giving up touchdowns to a mutt. Like, I'm just... I shaded down in red zone, so my vert hooks played real aggressive. That made my mid read just OD play the hitch. Both of my yellow zones played the hitch. Killed me right there. Because I, I expect the mid read to play like the, the you know the middle of the field, and he played the hitch. And that, I mean, good routes really. The route the routes they put on the field really made it work. Man, he went down the field two high balls. I mean, he's got two touchdowns. As far as I'm concerned, that's too many, chat. Come here, Harrison Smith. Run him right over. Yeah, it worked out. And, and I, I shaded down. I think I always still shade down all the time, though. I'm going to go a little max protect here. I rarely ever do max protect. I slid to the right. I'm going to ID the running back side. That's what I do a lot of the times. Uh, motion in Cooks, man. If it's cover two, I'm going to look for Cooks right down the seam. I mean, just oh, too much pressure, man. Come on, boys. So I say the pass protection is. As soon as I say the pass protection is good, we just get screamed at like that. Come on, Cooks, man. You got to make that play, brother. Where's my boy at? Oh, there he is. Smith. Did you really just bag the shit out of Cooks on a... Ah, oh, man. I thought Cooks would burn him on the wheel route. That's my bad. I, mean, I thought I thought Cooks on a wheel route would burn that cross, man. That was good defense. Damn, man, that's a big play. That keeping him alive right now. Damn, good defense. Cooks got to get his feet. Cooks been balling for me. I can't get mad at him. That that third down, I want Cooks to get his feet down. Other plays, I don't know how I got boxed. I got too much pressure to one play. I would play. I do a hitch for yeah.
down, man. Fuck, man. Oh, just the one good play call. That's the one player that just kills me out of that set, man. It kills me. Base right here. God damn, man. Like, these dudes are nowhere to be found. I'm using whoever is out there, really. Damn, he's playing good. I'm playing bad defense. Shit. My hook curl killed me on that play. I put him there to cover the... Ah, he's going to goal line already? I like him doing this. What the fuck is this, dude? This is almost worth a timeout, man. Fumble. That's what you get for doing dickhead stuff. You come out and dickhead plays, you get dickhead results. Man, custom playbook ass weirdos. Let's go, man. Physicality on another level. Such a big play I had all over the field right there. No, he's playing better. He's playing better. He's playing better. He's playing good defense right now. God damn it, man. Why the ball go... I can't lie. This is just Jared Goff having it slow. I used to, <laughs> used to have him Vic, and I'm just getting boxed because of it. Throwing terrible passes. Keep it basic, Dubby. Good, good defense. Just thinking he can make those throws, man. You play 400 plays with, with Vic, just thinking he can make a throw like that. It just, just killed me right there. Like, he has no ability to make that throw, Dubby. Like, what are you thinking? I feel like, I'll tell you what, I feel like the pressure just not, it's tough in this mode right now. I can't get shit going. Oh man, just gotta get this to the fourth. It should go to the fourth now. Spinner go spinner. I got to hold him to three. I can't give up another touchdown. His two touchdowns have been on high balls right up the middle of the field. No matter what formation it was, it was a high ball right up the middle of the field. That will not happen to Dub Dot W again. Playing way more safe on defense now. I've been sending everybody. I'm just going to chill. And I just get threaded. Like you didn't even press him at all out there, Peters. What? Jeez, because I baseline press like a bum, and I get quick snap vertical. Golly. Not going for two here. I wouldn't go for two early. It's a lot of game left. Man, I, be, I killed him. I killed him off. It's easy as hell the first two, the first four drives. Then I just got stopped the last two. Got to come back together. Yeah, he didn't put. A, he didn't press him at all. That's why I talk about baseline press. Baseline press killed me there. I baseline press because I wanted to play basic. 
No, I, you know, you definitely want to base a line press sometimes. It's just you got to know when to and when not to. And if you're going to base a line, I, don't need, I didn't need to press what I was doing right there. Now, Peter's made a crazy play already this game. He's playing better defense now. I got to go ahead and uh, mix it up a little bit. I mean, Gurley, can you, like, fight just a... Like, I don't need a super fight, brother. He's smart enough to put a quarter out here when I go to this. So I'm going to put a fade. Maybe catch him super sleeping. Time. I'll go for it on fourth down if I don't get it. There you go, Gurley. I need Gurley to give me a little fight, man. I don't need a lot of fight, brother. I just need a little bit of fight. I mean, he just brought everybody. God damn it, W. Block one person and you had. Oh, man, I'm playing bad. Good defense, man. Good defense, brother, man. Not mad at that in the least. Get busy, why don't you, Cooks? Just a little bit of busyness. Not a lot. Just a little bit of busyness. Yeah, I know, John, but I sent everybody out, and I rarely do that. Uh, Connor John's going to get Everett right down the middle for a touchdown here. End the game. That's what I want. First down, take a chance. Got, I got him if I get some time. God, golf just has a bowling ball. Golf just do. I mean, golf is killing me. Damn, that killed me. I had the streak with the tight end. A little bit slower than mine. I'm telling you, not playing with a quarterback like this is definitely not. I'm not going to tell y'all it's killing me, but it's definitely making this stuff a little bit more difficult. I mean, Cooks is just having a monster game right now. That's just a read from hell right there, though, to make that read right there. Now, this is where 40-second play clock plays a huge... Yeah, Vic, you can notice a lot of plays I'm running around, man. This is automatic. I, I feel like... I feel like... Well, we're going to run anyway, just to go to the two-minute warning. I don't care if you run commits it or not, really. They told me journey power blocks. Okay. Oh, maybe they're on to some. There you go, girly. Welcome to the party, brother. One time. Now, perfect, though. Second and two is absolutely perfect. Yes, yeah, Cerebral, but I don't, th I don't know if it's... I don't know what happened on that play to let him get so open right there. Um, Now he's going to one of these uh journey style. Going to over G. Over G, you can blow up inside zone. I'm not going to run over inside or over G on that. Thank you, girly. Give me a first down, big boy. Give me a first down, big boy. Big nuts. Sometimes, listen, the physicality works on defense, but, man, it's even better on offense. And I'm telling you, big. as much as I don't use girly, YouTube, chat, everything, as much as I don't use girly and I don't run the ball, man, when you get in a nice game, when you get into the tight games and the booty gets tight and you want to run the clock, having Todd Gurley is an absolute weapon. 
When I won my tournament, I'll tell you this. When I won my tournament, I had Ricky Williams doing absolute work out there. Now, I will never deny that. I, I hate it on mud. I hate it on, on games that don't matter, man. But when the game gets tight, the game gets rough, man, sometimes you got to go ahead and give Gurley the ball. Let him do what he does, man. Let's just go ahead and get tagged. He's going to call a timeout. I'm almost cool right now, chat. As much as he's played good offense, man, I can't I can't tell you that he hasn't played. I I, I like running toss, but I don't in no in no situation do I want to run out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? I, the only reason I don't want to run toss is because I'm afraid to run out of bounds. That's why I'm gonna run toss, but I'm gonna run it to the wide side here. Even though he has numbers on me to the wide side. That's okay. Like I said, I'm 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 kind of cool with a uh, with a run right here. He's moving offense is always hard as hell to score points. And you know what? I'm going to pass the ball. You know why? Because they, they they don't watch they don't watch for people not passing the ball. You know what I'm saying? They watch for people to go in and get it. And if you if you're somebody that likes to go and get it, you're my type of human being. I'm looking for Everett on this out on this corner route. I'm looking for Smith on a touchdown maybe. Oh, I'm looking for Jared Goff right at the middle. Get a sack, run the clock off. Nope, I didn't have nothing. He ran a little cover three. Nobody was open. Cannot throw the ball away in that situation. Cover two. I had a dot for cover two. Did not have a dot out there for cover three. If he baseline pressed, maybe that fade would have got open. I didn't, I didn't like it, though. And sometimes you got to recognize I don't like it right away. But Gurley getting that first down, getting that second and two, then getting the first down. Maybe be able to pretty much put this game away. And it's not that I'm not putting... I'm putting this game away. Not really. It's still going to be... It's obviously he's still going to have a chance. But you just give yourself the best situation. And the worst case scenario is that we're going to get out of here in overtime, really. If I, if I just lay down, we're going to get out of here in overtime. It's 11 mile an hour win. I'm kind of scared right now. Look at that ball move. All right. Like I said, we up seven. I have 11. This ball is going to 1,000% go out the back of the end zone. Uh, He's been kind of killing me in his trips, though. I think the trips... Going to play the chip, trips pretty safe right here, honestly. Go. We're going to go to this. We're going to put pass rush on aggressive. All right, we're going to wait to the next play. Because he can fake hike here, but if the clock's running, he doesn't have time to fake hike. Uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna play safe. It, Steve, there's no point. There's no point in in, in really ru really rushing stuff here. Like I have I have everything on my advantage right now. See, he just fake hiked. He, he's not gonna fake hike after this play, especially if he gets caught. Aaron Donald, way to show up. Now he can't. He's not gonna have time to go ahead and fake hike at the line of scrimmage. So now you definitely go and put this on aggressive. Because if he wants to waste time uh, fake hiking, God bless him. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he didn't jump off sides. Time is running. Time is on my side. That's what I mean, chat. Like, you want to fake hike? Go ahead, brother. That's on you. Yup. The long man. The long. You got to give him the long man. With a long man. That's okay. But now he can fake how he got. I mean. No, he's not going to get upfield now. The game's over now. Unless I make a colossal mistake, the game is over. A colossal. Corner route. This this could be a motioned over post to turn to a corner route. 
Just not out of bounds. The game's over. GG's. Ah, let's go. Play good defense that game, man. He really by the but in the second in the first half I did what I wanted. Second half he started playing a little bit better defense. Gave up a couple big plays to my tight end uh, because he was playing wild defense, but he definitely um he definitely uh, played good defense in that second half. He played good offense too. I was I was real aggressive defensively. Gave up some big plays. Man, Uncle Lou, what does Madden thing mean? Playing Madden or this league? Pretty even game, really, when you look at the stats. It wasn't... The biggest thing was I caught a pick. He caught a pick, too. I got that fumble inside the five when he ran this, this stupid ass, whatever the hell it was. That, that like, run, that run play that he ran. What the... I don't know that Steven... Like, yeah, that was just... That was... Don't overthink the situation here, boys. Ty Gurley, man. 12 carries. That's the that's more than he's had all year. 3.5 average. I'll tell you, when you get in tight games, Ty Gurley's going to touch the ball. Jeff Goff had a touchdown. Receiving, I mean, Brandon Cooks dominated. Brandon Cooks had a game. He's the only one. Him and my tight end are the only people that caught passes. Gurley didn't catch nothing. That the Brandon Cooks, I mean, dude. I mean, where were my other guys at on the field is my question. Shoot. Defensively. I mean, we have four sacks. Abu Kam, uh Aaron Donald had a sack. Clay Matthews and the long man. Three tackles. I like it. Yo, the long man. The long man. I'm going to play man. I've been playing man for a long time. Man. I'm 32 years old. I don't know Dan Baradino. No. Dan Walu. I, I mean, I've played for a long time, brother. That's all. Best size monitor for game. It depends on what you do. I have a 32, I think. Well, I got one person upgrade. Pass protector, 1,000%. D-Long. <laughs> that name's hell. D-Long. Uh, definitely played a good game. He played a good game. Real good defense. He kind of popped me on offense, too, man. He... Uh, I got, I mean, I one, I got to get used to playing with Jared Goff. That's my biggest thing I have to do because all the plays, that interception I do, just throwing around thinking he can make wild plays is not going to be, uh, is not going to be what I need to do, if you know what I mean, Chad. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much uh, what I have to get better at. And if I keep playing this mode, by the time I get there, I'll get there for real. Uh, and like I said, let's look at my stats for the year. Jared Goff, five picks is atrocious. I do three of them. The computer threw two in the sim game. Uh, 16 touchdowns. I mean, completion percentage is pretty good. Uh, almost 1,500 yards already. Uh, Ty Gurley, 27. Only Doesn't even have 100 yards on a whole year. My man Everett has two touchdowns. Uh, running the ball, he has three. He has five touchdowns total. Brandon Cook's just having a great season. Robert Woods and Tavon Smith uh, having good seasons as well. I mean, it's pretty much about my man Everett. Everett has been a monster for me. Defensively, what we got going on? TJ Green, uh, what, 22 total tackles. I don't have any picks with TJ Green yet. Who has my interceptions on the year? Marcus Peters got two. Ratman, the long, and Tlaib, and my nickel. The nickel guy must have had that in uh, Nikel, Roby Coleman, my nickel back, must have had that in the sim game. You know. No, he did fight back. He was down a lot. I think it was 28 to 10 at one point, Jim Killer. So he definitely fought back. That's what I'm saying, man. You go always fighting again, man. All you need is one fluky play. And that little quarterback power he went to is just just cheese. Uh, and it's just it really cost him that game getting that fumble. Because he did stop me, I think, twice in that second half with a pick. And then he, he covered Brandon Cooks on that wheel route. Never would have thought somebody would kept up with Brandon Cooks on that wheel route. But he did cover that. And, um... But he played a great game, so my season's looking good. I'm telling you, let's go over the schedule again because I don't know if I did that. I, I feel really good at where I'm at right now because, like I said, I got that sim loss, which is tough. But uh, with with three and one right now, we have one, two, three, four, four straight games against sim people. Like sit, like not sim people, but CFM guys. Then I play D Croft. That's gonna be a good game. 
Then I played two more, uh, two more, um, two more CFM guys. CFM guy, BG is going to be a good game. I think CF, uh, Jay Bird. I got a lot of CFMers. So right now I had that one sim loss. I'm four and one. I really think I can go 14 and two, uh, 13 and three. So I really feel like if I can get a first round buy, that's going to help me a lot. Making my way to Super Bowl. The NFC is super tough. We got Decroft, Clef, Vilma. Uh, Wolfman just put up a fight. He's going to be heard from. You know, it's definitely got a lot of people here in this NFC. Jay Bird has the best team. Uh, so it's definitely a lot of players. BG fam with the Bears. There's a lot of players in this in this league, in the NFC mostly. The game I lost to was a sim game. I was not home. It was my birthday. I was out of town. And that's all, man. So that was a better game than the other two you guys have watched. Uh, he played really good. The custom playbook thing, and people ask me, you think custom playbooks will be good? No, I don't think custom playbooks are good. Because I think knowing exactly... I think the thing about being a man player with custom playbooks is you have to make a decision. Like, you can't go in with everything. You have to make a decision where it's like, okay, yeah, I want the best bunch plays, but now I don't have those close, or now I don't have the best running play. But I think I'll be better if I have the best passing plays, or vice versa. You can go in and say, I'm going to get a weaker bunch, but if I can run the ball, it's going to make me more effective. So for me, that that's a big deal, and being able to pick being able to pick uh, what your weakness is and what strength do you want. And that's what a custom playbook or not having cut being able to pick a playbook is about, you know, it's always been a debate throughout the years is when, what playbook do I want to use? And, and it's been a part of Madden. And most likely, like I said, um, knowing what's in every playbook is kind of a skill gap. I mean, obviously I think all the, the top players know this type of stuff, but when you see a bunch tight end, automatically I'm thinking, okay, he's in Seattle or he's in Miami. Now you start knowing what running plays he has, what his, you know, what his quick audibles are out of each set, uh, what what passing plays he doesn't have. Does his bunch have a bunch trail? Do I have to worry about a post route? Knowing the different things that are in playbooks is a skill gap. And if you just give everybody every single play, it kind of defeats the knowledge of the game. And having knowledge of the game is something that does not necessarily get shown on games, but it's definitely a part of the game. So I really don't, I really don't like custom playbooks. When people ask me, I don't think it's a good idea. But this was week four, three and one, three and oh versus users. Feeling really good about the season. My team is playing well. Jared Goff, Brandon Cooks is dominating, man. Stay tuned for week five. Hit that like button, man, for sure. I'm going to keep bringing you these CFM games.